Will Michigan be tax-free for retirement? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Michigan's starting to pop up more and more, even with your stupid governor halfwit. So I can't, one of y'all sent this to me this morning, so much obliged. So this is January 26, 2022. I'm not going to read the stupid governor's press release because that's all political propaganda. In this day and age, the media is basically just reading the Democratic press releases anyway. So this, uh, what we're going to read here, I'm sure is going to be the exact same thing as the government propaganda. Wait, like the media is the state government. We know that. Remember, the, the Democrats don't tell the media what to say. The media tells the Democrats what to say. Just FYI. Always remember that. Rush Limbaugh taught me that. R.I.P. Rush. That the media is in charge of the Democrats, not the other way around. All right. Anyway, so here we go. I got a burp. Sorry. Just burped. That was rude. I, I know you've never burped. On Wednesday, in the State of the State Address, Governor Halfwit proposed a repeal of the retirement tax. Officials say rolling back the tax on, tax on retirement income, including pensions, 401k accounts, and IRAs, would save half a million households a thousand schmacks a year, which they can ten, then use to pay for the higher energy costs because Halfwit wants to get rid of pipelines. Uh, repealing the retirement tax will put Michiganders first and save a half million. Okay, we already heard that. Michiganders who have worked hard, played by the rules, if they're not in jail because the FBI uh, doesn't try to take them hostage, if you know what I'm saying, uh, because the FBI was trying to get the governor and we're going to put innocent Michiganders in jail. Interesting. Officials say, uh, let's see. And she even said putting money back in the pockets of retirees will help them afford the essentials to even gifts to their can- uh, grandkids. Officials say over the coming years, Governor Halfwitz's proposal would again exempt public pensions and restore deductions for pr- private retirement income. Would again exempt public pensions. All right. Um, they say this includes private sector pensions, withdrawals from IRAs, that's huge, man, a portion of the 401k uh, that is subject to the employer match. The repeal of the pension uh, from the AFL-CIO, so the big union corruption, uh, says, uh, uh, would uh, see, repeal of the pension tax has been a priority mission against labor union, labor union uh, since former Snyder first taxed Michigan's pensions. Yeah, that's tough to have a tax free and then we're going to tax it. I, there's something more to that. I don't know what it is, but there's something more to that. Retirees across our great state are grateful to have Governor Halfwit as their champion. Yeah, uh, you don't represent mo- the vast majority of workers there, pal. Uh, we support the, all right, so this is just, you know, look at this ARP. It's all uh, um, just left wing propaganda. All right, so let's, uh, let's see the view that actually, let me just go back. Let's see what the comments are. Breweries versus Frostbrite at Little Bow in Traverse City. So no comments. Right. Truckers in, to rally in Salt St. Marie to support a Canadian convoy. Convoy. I can't say it because it might get dinged. All right. So let's uh, let's read what the halfwit says. All right. Uh, let's see. Michigan is able, would be able to retire and keep it. Okay. Put Michigan as first. All right. Susan Dick were both teachers. All right. Just a few years after they retired, their pensions were taxed. Tim, Susan, Dick are still working to pay the bills. Okay. Whitmer is proposing repeal on the retirement tax. Okay. By 2024, uh, the proposal would again exempt public. As, okay. That's uh, that's just see, this press release. Literally, it's just the same thing as the press release. All right. So let's take a look at smartasset.com. And let's see. We're going to go to smartasset.com. And we're going to go to taxes. And we're going to go to retirement tax. Let's take a look at the, oh man, what's the zip code of Michigan? Oh yeah, cool, sweet. Click on that. Actually, let's just split over just a second. So is it dark blue, I think is, dark blue is tax friendly, very tax friendly. And Michigan, there you go. Good, All right, good, good, good. All right, so let's take a gander, shall we? And what we're going to do is we're going to say you have 30,000 Social Security income and 30,000 of other in retirement. Well, let's say 40,000 of other income. We'll say you're married. We'll say you live in 48001. Look at that, dude. You only pay 630. Oh, come on, man. I'm going to say married. Married right there. You pay nothing. You got 70,000 in income. You don't pay anything in state taxes to the state of Michigan. So let's put that at 60,000. Yeah, I mean, look at that, man. Michigan is very tax friendly. Yeah, tax-friendly towards retirees. 
Withdrawals from retirement accounts are partially taxed. Public and private pensions are partially taxed. I have a sneaky suspicion that public pensions aren't taxed from dollar one. I, I don't know, but I have a what's, what's going on there. I have a sneaky suspicion that public pensions aren't taxed from day one. But I mean, look at that. So all good. But uh, even now, you got forty ninety thousand of income. You're paying four and twenty five bucks in the state of Michigan. That, that's basic tax free. Let's put a hundred thousand dollars. You pay eight hundred fifty. Yeah, look, man, Michigan is very tax friendly. I'm a, I, I like Michigan. I'm not gonna lie. I've never even been there. I don't know what it's like. I just know that some guy sent me some pictures of the uh, of a lake. He's outside of what do you say, Payne Lake or something like that. And uh, he says, yeah, later on today it'll be like 20 or 30 people out there ice fishing. And uh, you know, he says, and then summertime is just freaking he's out there on his boat. Takes his dog out there. I said, man, it's not a bad life, man. It's not a bad life at all. He's like, don't overlook us, Josh. I know you think it's great. So what I'm doing? Check this out. I'll show you what I'm doing. Hold on. All right, so I cannot be like in Seattle where it's dreary six months out of the year. I will go. Actually, I probably won't go insane because I'm from Maine, but the better half would. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping uh, tracking on a probably won't be quite daily, but a, a regular basis of some towns that look pretty good: Friber, Maine, Ellsworth, Maine, Roanoke, Virginia, Colonial Beach, Virginia, Rapid City, Hastings, Michigan, Traverse City, Springfield, Missouri, Oxford, Mississippi, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Liberty, Missouri, Lexington, Kentucky, Mercer, Pennsylvania, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and Boone, North Carolina. I don't think Boone quite matches what I'm looking for, but it'll give me a gauge of that area of North Carolina. So what I'm saying here is I'm saying, okay, so we're, I'm going to try to do this for a while, for a number of years here. And uh, actually, if you guys come up with some numbers, I wonder if you could see, like, it's got to be more than just, like, they say, oh, it's sunny. See, I look, so... And at, so right here, uh, Ashland, Ashland, Ohio is sunny and partly sunny today. Yesterday is rainy, cloudy, partly sunny, and cloudy. Uh, blue, Freiburg, Maine is cloudy, and today it's snowing. Ellsworth, Maine is cloudy, snowing, and cloudy. Roanoke, Virginia was cloudy, rain, snowy, cloudy, and today it's sunny. You see what I'm saying? So that's then Colonial Beach was partly sunny and sunny, but yesterday it snowed. Obviously, this is just too, I just started doing this. So my goal is to uh, have you know a couple years worth of data in here, uh, and you know so uh, so someone's saying she's going to retire to Mount Home, Arkansas, which I think is around here anyway. Um, but you know if you have an area in the Liberty North, Liberty Missouri is right outside Kansas City. Um, so you got Springfield, Missouri, Liberty Missouri, obviously Lexington, Kentucky, where that is. This is Western Pennsylvania, Eastern Southeastern Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, we know all this. This is on the water. This is in the the western part of Virginia, on the water, western part of Maine, you know, right up here, in Ashland, Ohio, and, uh, and and more to come. But if I just if you if you have a an idea of keeping track of sunny days and not just like oh this website said is this sunny, I'd I'd like to see more than that. Like, is there any history of a 365 day in freaking I don't know. Um, what would be a good town to think about? To uh, Macon, Georgia. You're in Macon. Nah, that's not a horrible town. Asheville, Georgia. Asheville, Asheville, North Carolina. Is there a, it says, hey, it was 365 days. 261 were partly sunny. And I know, like, I can go to best, you know, like, best, um, best places to live dot com. So I'd actually like to see a little bit more granular, if that's the right word, or something like this. Anyway, so we'll see how long I keep up with this. Hopefully, I remember. Anyway, so if Michigan comes in like that, you know what I'm saying? And like I was talking to people today, you know, they're Washington and Arizona. You know, they're going to get out of Washington when it gets cloudy and they go to Arizona. And, you know, beautiful in Washington in the summer, beautiful in Arizona in the winter. Tough to beat that, man. So, all right, we'll see. Love to hear your thoughts. See you.